Hey guys, me Travis here. I'm going to be showing you how to get Trevor's truck in GTA 5 today. But uh, basically, you're going to want to look for this uh, mission called Dirt Road. Uh, this is how you get Trevor's truck. Uh, just look for that mission on the map somewhere or in host jobs or, yeah, really rare. Alright, so well, once you go on the mission Dirt Road... Uh, right next to, uh, where you spawn, since this is my friend's truck, uh, right where you spawn, right over there, you just want to come over here, and, uh, as you can see, you see Trevor's secret truck. Well, it's not really secret, but it is pretty secret, because you find it near this, like, little mountain, and, yeah, it's Trevor's truck. You can customize it, make it your personal vehicle, and, uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Alright, guys, all credit goes to, uh, Doom Control for fi finding this, uh, glitch, or, well, yeah, this, uh, car in a mission, but, yeah. Or manage fall at 81. But yeah. All credit goes to him for finding this. So yeah. Alright guys. After you get this truck. One thing I forgot to say. Uh, what you're going to want to do is basically uh, take the truck and uh, bring it to your garage. Uh, then it will be made your personal vehicle. But yeah. Make sure you have a vehicle spot open in your garage. Uh, so this will work. Alright guys, so once you're uh, at your garage or your apartment, which you're going to need for this to get the uh, the vehicle back, just go, uh, like, memorize where your uh, garage is on map, because it won't show up on map when you go there, but as you can see here, I must replace a vehicle, I will replace one of my vehicles so I can get this car, but you just drive up, if you have to replace a vehicle, then replace one, if not, then just drive it in and you should be good, and then you'll be able to uh, customize it afterwards, but as you can see here, I am going to replace the LK RH8. I really don't want that piece of shit anymore. It's just a free car, so it is, it is nice looking when you uh, have it fully customized. But as you can see here, um, I have the truck. I will now uh, show you guys the customization options and that you can customize it and uh, make it look pretty cool. So basically, after you put it in your garage, you're going to want to just leave the garage, as you can see here. And uh, just kill yourself, and hopefully the other guy in-game uh, kills himself too if you have another player in-game. But uh, just kill yourself so you run out of lives. The mission should end. And uh, you should be good from there on. Uh, and you should have the vehicle in your personal uh, garage or apartment. But um, yeah. I will kill myself one more time and I think I will be good. Alright, there we go. Me and my friend killed himself. Uh, mission failed as you can see. We get nothing because yeah, we failed the mission. Level 100. Just reach that today. That was fun. But uh, basically just continue. And uh, wait for your regular game to load up. And uh, basically when you go back to your garage. You should have uh, Trevor's car. Or well yeah Trevor's um, uh, vehicle. Whatever. Alright guys I'm going back into my garage with my entity. Entity yeah. Just got it back. Gonna go in and see if it's still in there. Hopefully it is. If it is, then it worked. It's not really a glitch. It's just very something, a cool trick that you can do to get uh, Trevor's car uh, from single player. But as you can see here, I have it in my garage and I'm going to go customize it. Show you the customization options and yeah, pimp it out. I'll see you guys when I'm at Los Santos Customs. Alright guys, as you can see here, I am pulling up to Los Santos Customs garage, uh, modify place, whatever. Uh, I'm going to pull in and uh, see what customization options this thing does have. Is a Canis Road High, Roadie, whatever, or Bodie, whatever you want to call it. It's an off-road vehicle, as you can tell. I'm going to upgrade everything possible on this. So these are all the bumpers that you can have. So yeah, these are pretty cool. I don't want nothing in the front, so I'm just going to go, I'm actually going to keep stock. I think stock looks most like Trevor's car, and it looks pretty good. I don't want the crew album on there though. Alright guys, so um, the bumpers, this is what we have here, not much. But I just put that on and uh, the second one, I'm actually, I want to keep stock. Stock looks most like Trevor's car and it looks pretty good. I might change it later, I don't know yet. Just going to upgrade everything to the max, don't put bombs on it. Um, let's see, don't want the crew album on there. Let's do, let's do painted set 2. The chassis I didn't do. Uh, let's see. So you have these. You have like a little step thing there for the second one. I'll just do vented wings. The engine's fully upgraded. Everything else is good. Put a. You can have custom grill. You can 
really do a lot of customization uh, options on this. Uh, so as you can see here, you can add bullhorns, uh, carbon twin intakes, twin intakes, carbon scooped hood, and just regular carbon hood. But yeah, I'm going to add the bullhorns because, yeah, <laughs> they look pretty cool. Uh, not going to add any horns at the moment. Just going to put these lights on. As you can see, I can put full coverage on it. Now I can get it back. Yellow on black. Respray. Let's make it how our uh, crew or our color is in our garage. Let's make it ice white with... I don't want the crew emblem on. There we go. Took that off. Um, I will put... Dang. You can add a lot of stuff on this thing. Uh, I'm going to add the chrome uh, with guard horns. Yeah, I'll do that. Chrome with guard horns. And horns, actually. You can sell this, uh, this uh, truck for a decent amount of money, but I wouldn't recommend selling it uh, since it's somewhat of a secret car. So, yeah. Add turbo. The wheel type. Let's do off-road. Let's do... Let's see... Let's go down. Let's do like um, Dune Basher. Dune Basher looks very good. Gotta put um, let's put red. Uh, let's put custom tires, bulletproof, and also red tire smoke. Windows limo. So yeah, that's all the customization options for this truck for uh, for the Trevor truck. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it, Trevor truck. But yeah, it is a very cool looking truck. You can have a lot of customization options. I didn't really realize that you could add that much. But it is a lot for a secret car uh, that you can get by doing a mission as I just showed you. But yeah, basically you can store this in your garage. You can show it off to people. It's very fun to drive. It's a nice off-road vehicle and hold four people. But yeah, hopefully you guys now know how to get this uh, truck, Trevor's, tre Trevor's truck. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. All credit go to Doom Control or Managed Fall 81 for finding this out. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't find this, but he did. All credit goes to him. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, enjoy my videos. Enjoy my live streams. And, uh, yeah, have a great day.